and he bad, hey, hey, he bad. Hog Army, hangover game. Let's go. We about to react to uh, Tom McDonald trying to kill me. This, this is a song that I said that this is the first thing I ever seen from Tom, and it was on the YouTube ad like a couple years ago. And I was like, who is that? And I ain't gonna lie, I thought he looked a little weird the first time I seen him. Cause you see, he had the, he had a, I think a nose ring, like a, and then the tattoos. And I remember this. So off the of first look, I was like, who is that? I had never seen him before, but since then, now here we are. But Tom's become one of my favorite. Uh, I'm gonna say one of my favorite rappers to listen to if I want to hear something real. If I want to hear something speaking about injustice and all that type of shit. But let's go ahead and react to this. Trying to kill me by Tom McDonald. It's probably not even gonna do be seen really because the word K I L L in here. But anyway, subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, let's go. I admit it, I'm on the road to AK, by the way. For this. Probably put me in my grave for the lyrics I spit. Been exposing the truth and all the secrets they covering. If I die, it was big pharma or government. Been putting too much truth in my songs. They gonna stage a suicide and say it chose. Uh, by the way, everybody tune in Friday. We are going to react to the new song. I've been seeing that he's about to drop. And uh, I'm ready to see it. To move on, probably cutting my brakes. So, so let me I go too back. Much truth in my songs. I, can I say something? Why do people... Like when I pause and if I don't go back, why do people be like you miss something? I don't miss anything. I have the headphones on. If I don't say something about it, it's just because I didn't think it was anything that I thought it was worth saying about. They gonna stage a suicide and say it was big pharma or government. Been putting too much truth in my songs. They gonna stage a suicide and say it chose to move on. Probably cutting my brakes so when I tour too long, I'll die in the crash. Say I was driving and drunk. Look, the illumin. I don't like this because I know this is a couple years old, but like it's speaking. I don't know, I just don't like, I like the song I'm saying, I don't like him speaking on this type of shit because this type of stuff happens all the time. But look at Michael Jackson. A lot of people think Michael Jackson was, I mean his death is obviously uh, justified as it got, it's a homicide, but look, Michael Jackson is the perfect example of saying, trying to kill me. They literally killed Michael Jackson. And uh, just look at his death and look at how the world, the media portrayed him and like he was just, Michael didn't do any of that stuff, but Tom, that's exactly what he's trying to say, the same thing, like, he's speaking too much truth, and I feel like, when you get a big voice, and you get a, a dedicated fan base like Tom, that type of stuff can come to you, and the more I react to him, and the more songs I see, he is very controversial to the people who don't like to be open-minded, or to the people who like to follow all the rules, and just go with the trends, you know what I'm saying? He's definitely a, a pioneer, I can say that for sure about Tom. But uh, if you, I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. Look into Michael Jackson's case and stuff like that and his death and just look at everything that happened up until the concert, This Is It. Like look at, Michael Jackson is the perfect example of, we, he's the, the perfect example of seeing the higher ups literally kill somebody and like nobody says anything about it. I mean, there are those people who really know, like true Michael Jackson fans or like, True people who really are open-minded and pay attention to what goes on around them, but I feel like Michael Jackson. This song, is, this is this song should be about him, really. Illuminati real. They're trying to make you dumb, trying to numb you out with pills, trying to make you broke, trying to tell you it's a deal. Processing your food so now none of it is real. You eating super good, but you still be getting ill. You working super hard, but you still can't pay the bills. Silence in the visionaries, mm -hmm. revising the dictionaries. Now you just can't find the right words to say and express how you feel. Target on my back. I think they're coming for my. Bro, I remember when this came out. I was like, cause it was when you see this on the ad, you like, what the hell he's talking about? You like. I remember when this came out, man. It's crazy to think, like, wow, I'm actually listening to all his songs now. Like, I remember when this came out, I was like, I was intrigued by what he was saying. It, it captured me immediately after I, I saw what he was saying. I remember this hook. This is what I remember. Head, I know I recognize that then. I bet they he had, like, a red, is it going to be, like, a red dot on his head or something? Me dead, they're going to kill me if I leave my room. They're going to kill me. I go too soon, you should know. 
Said they would I kill admit me. it, I'm afraid they gon' murder me. Wouldn't be a problem if nobody ever heard of me. But I'm famous, so they'll probably try erasing me with urgency. Infect me with a sickness and deny me any surgery. Stop me from exposing all the medicine and currency and terrorism. Always been controlling us so perfectly. I'm telling you with certainty. They say it's for security. They monitor our lives like we live in Nazi Germany. They want to microchip all the people. You don't believe it. Your fingerprint unlocking your phone. Oh, how convenient. They trick you to believe in all the angels and demons and say you'll go to hell if you ever go disappoint Jesus. I got a backbone and a platform and a tap phone. Never asked for it to be that known. Take my passport to my dad's. Uh, I'm listening to everything you say. Uh, I just don't feel the need to have to pause every second for every little thing he says. Um, I mean, what the stuff he's saying is just the truth. You getting microchipped. Um, I mean, basically by the phone. Even when the phone open, when you look at it and it opens up with your eye and stuff like everything we see all saw in the movies uh, is basically coming true. Uh, I heard a rumor. It wouldn't, I wouldn't say a rumor, but I heard something from some YouTube video, like it was debunking all that type. When Travis Scott did all the Astro World stuff, somebody said that um, that the government already has cars that can fly that they've had since the '60s, but they um, they just they take their time to reveal things. Like they only drop like the iPhone. They're saying that the iPhone was already made way before we got it. Like. They drop stuff in certain times, and uh, the whole point I'm trying to make is they said something. Uh, damn, what I was about to say. Hold up, let me catch my train of thought, cause it was really something I wanted to talk about. Damn, I can't remember. Let me go back. Maybe I'll remember it going back to the video. Phone, tap phone, never asked for to be that known. Take my passport to my dad's boat. Use the back door to escape this place. Just the truth. Damn, I can't remember. It wasn't about the cards. It was something about technology. I can't remember. Basically, though, the government is is basically controlling everything. And, and what you already know that, but I'm saying that they drop things at certain times how they want to drop them. You know what I'm saying? That's what... Like, everything that we think is new, like, ooh, the new... Like in 2006 or whatever, when the iPhone was first introduced, I mean, obviously it wasn't new. They had been working on it, but I'm saying that they, they say that the iPhone and all that type of technology and all this stuff was made long, long time ago. I'm going to say like centuries ago. I'm saying like hundreds of years ago. But I don't know if that's true or not because I don't know. Is it true? What do you guys think? Human show. Target on my back. I think they're coming for my head. I know I recognize that man. I bet they want to see me dead. They're gonna kill I like this video though. If I leave my room, they're gonna kill me. If I go too soon, you should know. Said they would kill I admit me. it, I'm afraid I'll disappear. They won't issue me a ticket for a minor misdemeanor. They're gonna try to lock me up before the moment when I'm. Dang, I just realized he got that tattoo like that. Dang. That's dope. Here, just let me take a minute to make sure you see it clear. Cancer has a cure. They killed Biggie and Pop. One thing I know for sure, 9-11 was an inside job. They stamped dollar bills. Those takes that he just said are very controversial. Like people with Loki would get really pissed about those. How was the reception of this when it first dropped? Comment down below what it was like. But in God we trust, while well, a single dollar bill, the only thing we got. I think they probably think they got us fooled. Distort the information and curriculums at school. They ain't making you a scholar, man. They're making you a fool. They're making you a felon if you choose to break the rules. They designed a game with a million ways to lose. Not a single way to win. Only option you can choose is to play it with a grin. Or you play it feeling blue. Either way the wheel spin. You won't ever make a move. They gon' kill me for this. Target on my back, I think. This one of my, his dopest hooks to me because it's not his vocals sound good and it's not a bunch of effects on it. They're coming for my head. I know I recognize that then. I bet they want to see me dead. And they're going to kill me if I leave my room. They're going to kill me if I go too soon. You should know. I said they would kill me. in the house did did you leave the door open by chance i don't know the door was open no i just walked up yeah the i door remember was that. like open a crack <laughs> yo they're in the house man they're in the house target on my back i think they're coming for my head i know i recognize that man i bet they want to see me dead 
they gonna kill me. I like this video, man. They, their, their concepts are so crazy. I'm ready to see what he's gonna drop Friday because he's saying this is his best video that you know that he's ever done. If I leave my room, we about to see though Friday. They're gonna kill me if I go too soon. You should know. Said they would kill me. I don't know, we just lost so many good artists these past couple years. Like, I hate seeing, I don't know, I don't like that. Like, if he died, for real, this, this, you know how big this song would blow up? If something really happened to him? This song would be his biggest song ever. Hopefully, this never comes true, but that was Tom McDonald trying to kill me. Uh, basically, I already seen, I seen that ad a long couple time ago, so that wasn't really new to me, but seeing the video on full was new to me, but uh, I love that song. It's just, I don't know, I love talking about that type of stuff too, like, what, what are the government, are they plotting on this, and like, is Tupac get really killed by the government, all that type of stuff, I love that type of stuff, so, uh, that's why I like re reacting to his music, because it opens up topics and things, talk about his music like that, but go ahead and subscribe for me, um, Get ready for Friday. I might not react to Tom again until Friday because we got one more day. Why not just wait till Friday? He'll be the first video I drop Friday whenever. I know the video comes out at 9 a.m. I don't know if that's going to be California time. So if that's California time, it'll be like it'll be 12 o'clock for me. So expect the video like maybe 4 or 5. I'll start later in the day anyways because I got stuff to do in the beginning of the day. But subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, shout out to the Hog family.